Next over here we have a giant 344.8 scoring feral goat and I believe Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. This is the Hunter DD33 and today we're going to be taking a look at our most recent trophy lodges that we've managed to fill them up pretty nicely lately. This is the first one that we filled up and we have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to try and go around and go through each one individually and try and remember um, what weapon we use and sort of like the location that we actually got that animal in. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult because it's been a while but I'm going to see how good we can do. Alright, so let's start off with this giant water buffalo right behind our back shoulder here. So this big guy scores 237. Now, I know he's not the biggest one of all time, but he was the biggest one at the time. At the time, I think leaderboards was basically like 240s and above, and 237 was pretty close to being a leaderboard water buffalo. And I believe this might have been the same one that we got as soon as the water buffalo came out. So that in that case, we probably got this one with the reverse draw crossbow. And I think we made an intestine hit on him at about 40 or 50 meters out. Ended up tracking him for a little ways and we found him. But anyways, this was a giant water buffalo at its time. And we took him out with the reverse draw crossbow. He scored 237.1. And next we have this water buffalo here. This one scored 222.1. And I believe we got this one in a drive. I guess you could call it a water buffalo drive. We didn't really give it a name. We were just driving to Pickabean Bay. And this is the one we got with the 44, I think it was. Then over here we have a giant feral hog. This is the biggest feral hog that I've ever seen, let alone taken, and I really can't remember what we used to get them with. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I remember. We actually used the 6.5 Panther. That was when the 6.5 Panther just came out, and if you wanna know which one that one is, that's actually the same weapon that we use for the Finding Wallhanger uh, 35 video, where we got the uh, two Mauner Ibex actually that should have been yesterday's video so anyways we got him with the 6.5 panther and he scored 1202 so 1202 and my biggest feral hog and it was a cream color next over here we have a giant 344.8 scoring feral goat and i believe we actually got this one during a drive as well i'm not a hundred percent but i'm pretty much like 98 percent sure we got this one in a drive with the 243 AR 243 semi automatic, and um, I remember we were actually doing a live stream. I'm pretty sure we were doing a live stream and we kicked up a big goat way off in the distance. And I knew he was for sure 300 plus, but I didn't know he was going to be this big. And we just fired off a couple of shots as fast as we could before he ran out of render distance and missed a couple of times. Luckily, he came back in and we ended up making a nice shot on him and got him. And he's a giant 344.8, he scored. And next over here we have this uh, Rocky Bone Elk. This one scored 376.1. I believe we got him with the Camel Pulsar on Timbergold Trails. Not a giant, but definitely not a small one. It's not that easy to find 400 plus out on uh, Timbergold Trails. So since we got this one, I'm pretty happy with that. Next, let's go over here to this Doll Sheep. This thing is a giant. He scored 202.2. .2. And if we can move him around a little bit better, that would be cool. Uh, we might actually go to the other side and take a look at him because you can't really see him that good from that angle You can't really see I guess that's good enough. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that So this one we ended up taking out with the I believe it was the 308 carbon uh, Semi-automatic rifle and that one we were actually running around looking for um, I think we were actually trying to find some uh, Arctic Fox. We had the 243 and the 308 in case we saw anything that we could actually use. And we kicked this one up way far away and I never even got a chance to spot it. I remember just pulling up the scope and taking a couple of shots before it disappeared. And we hit it in the intestine at like 202 meters out on the run. Ended up tracking him down and he scored 202. So that was my biggest doll sheep. Absolutely a mounter doll sheep and I'm really happy to have him here. And next let's go over to this big black tail buck and funny thing is I do not remember this black Oh now I do remember this black tail. All right, so this black tail we were actually doing a different push that I've never done before we We're pushing the far north end of Whiteheart Island and I can't remember who was in the in the push with us. I think it might have been Wiggles and uh, I don't know a couple other people if you guys know who was in it I'm sure you do because it was a pretty awesome time 
we kicked up this big buck and I knew he was for sure 180 plus actually I even said he was a 190 plus just because he looked so big and he ended up scoring 191.7 that's the biggest blacktail I've ever gotten in a drive before so I'm very happy to have him here and basically what happened is he kicked up way off ahead and I tried telling everybody a big buck was coming and somehow he ended up trying to bust back in the middle and luckily I caught a glimpse of him trying to cut back and I think we actually took him out with a 44 pistol oh no that was we actually used a 10 millimeter pistol that's what we used a 10 millimeter pistol and we just pulled out a couple quick shots at him and ended up making a nice liver hit on him and he went down not too far away from that so he scored 191.7 and yeah that's a that's a great blacktail buck so we have this bull elk here this one scored 363.8 and this one was on red feather falls I believe we got this one with the carbon recurve and I think we actually got this one during our perfect heart shot challenge as well he came in with two other bulls we ended up having to take a really risky shot we popped up and made a perfect heart shot on him and got him so yeah that's a giant 363.8 my biggest bull elk ever a lot of people ask me is actually 387 so realistically it's only 20 points off it's not that much difference and I'm really happy to have that bull here. Next, let's go over here and check out this non-typical blacktail buck that we got. This one scored 135.4. And he came in actually as we were doing a bear hunt off of the bear barrel out on uh, Red Feather Falls. And he scored 135.4. We ended up taking out with the... What did we take him out with? I think we might have actually used the camel pulser. Either the Camel Pulser or the Carbon Recurve. Again, it's been a while ago and I, I can't remember. I'm sure I could look back and find out what it was, but we'll just go with Camel Pulser for now. And yeah, that was probably my biggest non-typical blacktail. That's pretty cool. Okay, so next let's go over to this one here. This is our Gray Bobcat. This one scores 8.4. It's not that big of a Bobcat, but it's a really cool color variation of it. And I think at the time... This one was a pretty decent one, and this might have actually been my first gray bobcat. So this one scored 8.4, and I think we got this one with the AR-243. Next, we have this black bear here. He scored 21.0 on Red Feather Falls, and this is a pretty awesome black bear. Not quite 22, but still a pretty awesome black bear, and I'm very happy to have him here. I wanted to get a 20-plus black bear, and my ultimate goal was to get like a 21-plus, and the fact that we ended up getting a 21-plus black bear, I was pretty happy with that. I think we got this one during a live stream as well and I'm pretty sure that we got this one with the 9.3 on the run at I think it was like 170 180 meters out ended up making a nice long shot on him and he went down next we have this absolute giant 198.9 scoring whitetail buck on the wall here which we probably should put down here all right so we actually decided to reorganize this a little bit better and because we haven't been here in so long I decided it's a good idea to do it as we were here right now and that's what we did we ended up putting this 166 score in bighorn sheep right here we got this one with the 308 carbon rifle and we got him at 220 meters and that was actually when the render distance was 220 max so that was a pretty far shot i remember taking him like it was yesterday all right so we ended up moving that 198 giant white tail buck right here and here he is this is the one that we got on the drive on uh, Whiteheart Island and Wiggles was the one that was there as well. Wiggles actually hit it first and it kept running and then we ended up taking it with 308 carbon on the run and this is the biggest white tail I've gotten on a drive. Next we have this bull elk here. This one scored 372.1 and I believe this one might have actually been during the same exact hunt that we got this 363 scoring bull elk over here as well. So I mean this one is a little bit bigger score wise but that one there has a ton of back tines on it. This one has a little bit bigger main beams on it. And I think this one we actually got with the camel pulser on Red Feather Falls. Next, we have this giant 226 scoring, actually 226.5 scoring mule deer buck. We got him on Loggers Point with the carbon recurve. And this is the one that was the luckiest shot ever. And we actually ended up catching him in the back leg. The wind pushed it so far. It was a 35 meter shot and he was walking. And right when we took the shot, he walked even faster and the arrow went right back and it dropped really low. Barely caught him in the hind quarter, a little bit lower in the leg. Ended up giving some time. He went down and we tracked him down and he's a giant. 226.5 scoring mule deer buck. 
Next, let's go over here and check out this brown leucistic 6,106 scoring um, Canadian goose. This is a really cool looking rare Canadian goose. Let's actually crouch down and get a little bit better look at them. As you can see, just a really cool color variation. And we ended up getting this one. When did we get this one? I think we got this one with the 10 gauge to be honest. Either that or we got it with the 17 HMR at a long ways away. I can't remember exactly. I'm going to go with the 10 gauge in the sky on this one. I think we might have been doing a multiplayer hunt as well. Alright, so next let's go over here and go take a look at this gobbler. This one scored 68.2, my biggest Tom Turkey ever on the Hunter Classic. And this one was actually on a drive on Whiteheart Island. We were pushing the uh, bottom end of the, the North Island and we ended up kicking out this gobbler way out in the distance, took him out with a 223, made a perfect running heart shot on him with the AR-223 at 120 meters out and he scored 68.2. So just a monster gobbler and I'm really happy to have him in here. Next we have this really cool looking blonde, well I first called him a cinnamon bear because as you can see he looks pretty cinnamon colored to me. He looks like a kind of tannish golden brown color but apparently they're calling him blonde. So anyways this one scored 19.4. I wanted to get a 19 plus um, kind of cinnamon or chocolate or any kind of fur variation of black bear and we ended up getting a 19.4 score in blonde black bear and we ended up getting him with the camel pulser we took a 45 meter shot ended up making a nice liver shot he ran probably 50 60 yards bedded down and we found him so that's pretty cool I'm happy to have him here and what did we forget we forgot this okay this is a pretty decent guide wall uh, duck this is actually a big one during the time when the lodges first came out, this was a really nice guide wall, but right now I think I have like a 1350 um, to get mounted. Anyways, this one scored 1,258. We got him with the 20 gauge semi-automatic, and here he is mounted here. Just a really beautiful looking bird. I'm happy to have him here no matter what he scores, I guess. Next, we have the bobcat over here. This was my first 9 plus bobcat that we've ever gotten. This one scored 9.1. And this one was on Rogaro Bayou. I remember seeing him sneaking in all the way across from the swamp on the other side. I was actually sneaking up on one of them, which I thought was the big one. And come to find out, it's a good thing I didn't take a shot on that one because this one was right around the corner, right on the opposite side of the shore, and he snuck in really fast. Luckily, we ended up taking him out with the carbon recurve. We made an awesome shot on him and actually dropped him right in his tracks and got a really cool looking nine plus bobcat. All right, so next we have this brown bear. This one scored 27.0. We got him with the carbon recurve right out of the bear bait setup that we have on uh, Hemadil. Ended up making a nice liver shot on him. He ran, uh, I think it was like 200 meters or so. And we gave him a little bit of time, bedded down, and he was right there. Okay, so next we have this 546 scoring reindeer. And this was actually um, the biggest reindeer that we had since the lodges came out. I couldn't break 500 no matter what I tried to do. Everything was like 450s or 480s even and finally we got a 546 and that was pretty cool I was really happy to have him here and finally we ended up getting the coolest looking thing that I've tried to find actually this is a Rudolph uh, well they call it a mythical reindeer and it was a nice bull too he scored 466.3 I believe we ended up taking him out with the reverse draw crossbow if I'm not mistaken we might have ended up using the 6.5 or something like that but I'm pretty sure it was the reverse draw crossbow with the winter camel and anyways, a while back I was trying to find one of these so hard, actually it was two years ago I was trying to find one. I spent probably three or four weeks just straight, nonstop trying to find one. And I couldn't find one, but what I did find was a giant 679 scoring bull reindeer. And that's the one that uh, is my biggest reindeer ever, which is absolutely huge. But the funny thing is I was actually trying to find this guy. Well, two years later I finally found one. And I'm very happy to have him here, especially the fact that there's lodges to put him in so you can admire him for longer and longer. All right, so next we have this big guy over here. This is a giant 231.6 scoring um, bull moose. We ended up getting him on Hemadil during our perfect heart shot challenge video. And it was actually with the carbon recurve, a 30 meter perfect heart shot on him, dropped him right in his tracks. That was the biggest bull that I've gotten with the carbon recurve and to be able to make a perfect shot that was pretty amazing next over here we have our first mounter well borderline mounter uh red deer he scored 247.2 we got him with the carbon recurve 
and I was trying to find a 250 plus for the longest time. It just didn't happen, but we took the 247 and we got him mounted right there. Next over here we have a uh, 1520 scoring uh, Drake Mallard duck. So it's a male Mallard. And we got him with the 20 gauge. As you can see, the 20 gauge is sitting right there as well. I believe we might have gotten him in a Finding Wall Hangers video too. I'm not 100%, but I think we might have. And over here we have a really nice uh, black duck. This one scored 1461. We got him with the 20 gauge semi-automatic as well. And it almost looks like a hen mallard, but it's actually a really nice black duck. And I'm really happy to have both of them there side by side. And I think that pretty much wraps up this whole entire lodge. So we'll take a little bit better of a look at it from afar so you can see a little bit better of what we have in this whole lodge here. And I hope we didn't miss anything, but yeah, that's about everything. So, and next we have the blonde grizzly bear. This one scored 21.7. But this was my first blonde grizzly that I've actually gotten. I remember taking him out with the reverse draw crossbow at 55 yards, made a double lung shot on him, and he went down within about 50 or 60 yards. But this was my first blonde grizzly, and I really wanted to get a blonde grizzly mounted and put him up in the lodges. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be a pretty good way to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you liked seeing all the mounts together. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Uh-huh.